Hello and welcome to this demonstration of how to protect Amazon Workspaces with Maidenhead Bridge and Zscaler. Amazon Workspaces is a beautiful services of Amazon that is supported in several clients. Uh, Amazon Workspaces are virtual desktops and are hosted on Amazon and you can get access for these clients. In this demonstration, we're, we're going to use the Windows client. But let's take a look of the architecture of Amazon Web Services, Amazon Workspaces, sorry. On Amazon Workspaces, uh, the architecture, when you launch this, uh, you have a, an access to, to the virtual desktop infrastructure. And the virtual desktop infrastructure is going out to the internet using the NAT gateway and the internet gateway. The problem here is all this traffic is going unprotected to the internet. In this demonstration, we are going to replace this piece for the cloud security connector of Medihead Bridge, forcing all traffic to go to the CSKiller cloud for inspection. Let's take a look at the network diagram. This is, uh, these are my virtual desktops on Amazon Workspaces. I'm going to redirect the traffic to the internal interface of the cloud security connector in order to force all traffic to go through CSKiller for inspection and security. It is very easy to do. Uh, we recommend to place the cloud security connector on the same VPC that your uh, Amazon workspaces. Uh, the requirement for the cloud security connector are very, very simple. The only thing you need to do is to reserve or to assign an external and internal subnet. This internal and external subnet needs to be on the same availability zone. This is a requirement of Amazon when you have an instance with two interfaces. These two interfaces, these two subnets must belong to the same availability zone. Uh, the, the, the next thing you need to have ready is the, the key for the connector. Uh, let's take a look now how we can replace this. It's very, very easy to do. The first thing you need to go is to your Amazon workspaces and in your directory, take a look which are your VPC. We recommend to use the same VPC for the connector because uh, it works out of the box normally and all routing uh, uh, tables are ready for uh, easy redirection. Uh, if you want to place uh, in another VPC, you can do that, but maybe you need to do some interconnection of VPCs or some internal routing. In this case, we're going to place the connector on the same VPC. Inspecting the, the available uh, available subnet that I have, I created these two subnet. This uh, 172.31.200 will be my internal subnet. Look at it is on this availability zone 1D, and the external will be this, uh, and it's also in the same availability zone. This is the only requirement for the connector. I have a key ready, right? A key when I say key, a key pair ready. If you don't have created anyone, create one now before to launch the connector. Uh, let's go and uh, and launch the connector. Uh, you need to go to the uh, marketplace. You can type CSKiller or, or Cloud Security Connector. You will be redirected to this uh, page and continue to subscribe. You need to accept here the software subscription and continue to configuration. Fulfilling options, CSC deployment, and a region in North Virginia. Always check your region if I'm working in North Virginia, right? Let's continue to launch. Uh, in, in, in action, launch clone formation. And next. And uh, here you, you need to put your your name, I will put CSE, GRE, AWS 36. And stuck, this is a stack name, but the instance name, I will put the same name, I recommend to put the same name, stack name on instance in order to easy identify the connector. Uh, BPC, uh, remember, we are working with this BPC on 31. And external subnet, I, uh, I created this subnet for the external subnet and internal subnet, the 200, both belonging to the same availability zone. Uh, on instance type, you can select the small, medium, or large. Um, 
the connector is very light it, it will work with t2 small depending on the region t2 small offers between 200 megabit per second to 400 megabit per second sometimes much much more t2 medium offers about uh, 300 to 600 megabit per second and large is offering near in most regions around 800 megabit per second I will select the small for a start and my key and that's it next next and create sorry name exists Pre previous previous uh, let's put 38 Next, next, create. Okay, now it's creating the stack 38, and uh, there is a lot of events that will happen here. Uh, the connector will create the public IPs, uh, will create uh, external interfaces, security groups, a lot of things that. Uh, it's a nightmare if you want to do manually but the CloudFormation template help us to do it automatically and you don't need to do anything as you can see we have all these uh, things available meanwhile this is happening that is very fast normally it's very very fast we are going to uh, to access to the Amazon workspace with our connect with our client on this Windows machine I will click reconnect okay let me close this okay I'll close this as well okay and I will close this okay Okay, now this is the the the, the Amazon Workspace session. Uh, this is my my desktop, my virtual desktop, as any uh, on any other virtual uh, uh, sorry any Windows machine. You need to deploy the CSGL certificate via GPO, and you need to set up the proxy to the pack file. Same than any other uh, implementation of CSGLer. In this case, uh, I'm going to start Putty and let's take a look about the connector it was created now the, the creation is complete and i'm going to my amazon console to take a look at the instance and here is the connector running okay uh, the first task that you need to do is check ethernet one is the internal and take a look of the uh, internal IP this is the IP that you need to SSH in order to get access to to the to the connector this one I'm going to go to my Amazon workspace remember I have a machine here from this machine I will SSH the connector then it's 172 31 200 and is 207 uh, on connection data my username is CSC admin and the authentication of uh, is SSA is, uh, is a key okay and have the key I already downloaded the key here and I need to accept yes and now I'm connected that's it this is the only that you need to do correct this is the only that you need to do uh, now the next step is to take a look of this IP and you need to submit a ticket to CSKeller support and asking for the tunnel IPs. Uh, you after after some time you will receive an email like this one and with all the information please pass this information to CSKeller support the public IP and your location in return you will receive all this information when you have this information in hand please come here and do the initial wizard because we don't have time on a video to do to submit a ticket and wait for it 
we are going to use this IP that is already in use in another connector and this is the connector that is already with the credentials let me take a look here this is 191 then I will access to this connector let me open uh, put it from here uh, do, 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 a new session I have load I have information okay and this is the 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 main uh, let me run this this is the main uh, menu of the connector you have one menu that is show configuration and status what you need to take a look here is the internal IPs of the connector the 101 the BAP proxy this is traffic going through CSCalar and the bypass proxy if you want to bypass some traffic when one important thing is on the CSCalar console after you submit a ticket and as soon you receive this information please go to locations and create a location in this case if not nothing will work in this case I created the location here your next task is to create a pack file uh, to redirect the traffic to the VIP proxy and the bypass proxy. F in order to simplify the task, we provide a pack file example with all the details. And on the pack file, we say, okay, if you want to, can please put the, your IP of your B proxy here, your bypass proxy here, and here you have all the options of uh, common options needed on a pack file if you want to send traffic direct if you want to send traffic direct locally if you want to send traffic to to CSCalar if you want to send traffic direct to internet this 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 pack file that we provide has all examples on it it will be very easy for you because it's all about to say okay I need to put on bar VIP proxy my IP and bypass proxy my IP and here are all examples if I want to bypass a network if you want to bypass a host if you want to uh, locally if you want to bypass something via the VIP proxy very very easy to implement it with the spark file example and finally all the fault traffic go to the CSKLB B proxy for protections uh, then on my uh, Windows machine my only tax now uh, if I inspect here as you can see this the tunnels are up the tunnel was up since this uh, date. I can uh, reach ipcscaler.com and using Washington Note, and this is my public IP. Bypass proxy egress is working, and the agent, I mean, so agent is running. Um, the next task is go to settings on these machines. Remember, the only things you need to install on your machines are the CSCalar. Uh, root certificate for SSL inspection and a pack file on the machine this is the pack file I have on the machine and done you are protected if I go to ipcscaler.com I'm uh, checking that I am using this IP and able to go to CSCaler if I type Playboy is this block if I want to inspect uh, this uh, ECAR test for security purpose is blocked if I go to the same place but now using HTTPS uh, let me continue there is HTTPS inspection in place well this is the end of the video as you can see it's very very easy to protect your work, Amazon workspaces with the connector uh, it's just about to launch the connector on the VPC on two subnets to put the SSL root certificate on the workspaces and the pack file and done you are connected to CSCalar very very easy to do remember that at Medihe Bridge we have connectors uh, for being where for KVM for virtual box for hyper B for all platforms if you have virtual desktops inside your environment we can uh, create a connector 
to your environment and to uh, to do the same right to protect all your virtual desktops using um, CScaler. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope you, you like this video and enjoy uh, Workspace now on security way with Medihead Bridge. And remember, our objective objective on Medihead Bridge is to create solutions that enables you to connect to CScaler without any knowledge on networking. You don't need to have any knowledge. The only thing you need to do is to do a pack file and redirect the traffic. Thank you very much. See you on the next video.